happy Monday. If you're new here, my name is Audrey and thank you so much for watching this video. I just got ready for the day and now I'm gonna go pick up my friend Aloha and we're gonna go surf. I was thinking that I could do another week in the life and kind of show just like my healthy habits, routines, and anything else that I do throughout the week. I think these vlogs are really fun and I like to show you guys like how I kind of keep up with my own healthy lifestyle and just my habits and routines and everything. So like I said, I'm going surfing this morning with my friend Aloha and I don't know what else I'm gonna be doing today. I'm definitely gonna be making a recipe and it's just gonna be a little bit of a busy work day for me but I wanted to get out into the water before I start any of that. So let's go pick up my friend. I air wrapped my hair, did my makeup and everything. For some reason, I always make the house a mess when I get ready. Like my makeup is everywhere, my clothes are everywhere, as you can see in the background. Going to clean up my room, I'll clean up my bathroom, and then we'll eat some lunch and go get groceries. figured out how to use a tripod. I was thinking I could show you guys how I get unready and I kind of wanted to do like a little extra self-care tonight. So I grabbed this AHA sparkling water in the flavor of peach and honey. I put it in a champagne glass to be a little fancy. Wow, I really love this. I don't love sparkling water, but this one's really good. Also, please just ignore my band-aid. I took an Everly Well test today to see if I had any food sensitivities, and so we'll see if I get those results back. I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to some things that I actually really love, and I'm bummed about it, but I'll let you guys know when the results come back what I'm allergic to. So I grabbed these three headbands. Obviously, this like classic pink one, and then this one is from Honest Beauty, and this one is from Indie Lee, but I'm kind of thinking the Indie Lee one. Also, this robe is from Brooklinen. It's way too big for me because it's Chris's robe. I'm gonna start by taking off my makeup, so I'm gonna use the Elemis Cleansing Balm. I feel like this works really well just to get like everything off your face. I literally just rub it like this, and then I'll usually go in with something else on my eye, like I'll use a makeup cloth. Okay, now I'm gonna wash it off. Okay, now that it's mostly washed off, I'm gonna go in with my Drunk Elephant Cleanser and just cleanse my face again. This is just to help get everything off and I also feel like it gets a little bit deeper than just my makeup. Sometimes I like to go in with this little like exfoliating pad just to get my makeup all the way off and exfoliate a little bit. Now just use a hand towel to wipe it off. I like to use white just so I can see like what was left on my face. Like you can see some tan was still left on my face. I don't know if I've said this on here, but I actually have perioral dermatitis. I haven't been like diagnosed with it or anything or gone to a doctor, but I'm like pretty 100% sure I have it. Kind of like eczema, so I like have flare-ups right here. If you ever see my videos, I have like some redness right here under my eyes. It's from my perioral dermatitis and I need to just go to the dermatologist and get some antibiotics for it, but I've been busy and I haven't had time to go so I really want to get that under control this year because it's really frustrating to not be able to use certain products or else it'll flare up or I'll just use them because I want to and then I just have a huge flare up. It's really not too bad right now but it's just a bummer because I can only use like really light products on my face. I'm gonna use my favorite face oil. It's by the brand Gazoo. I know I'm not pronouncing it right. Some people think that you need to be putting oil on after your moisturizer and I just can't get behind it. I don't know why. I think because I know my moisturizer is like thicker than oil is and it just doesn't make sense in my mind why you would finish with something lighter over a thick texture if that makes sense. So I like to do my oils first. Sometimes I'll just leave it at this but tonight I'm gonna do a thicker lotion because I want to be really moisturized. I'm gonna go in with my Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. I love these containers because watch. So satisfying to press it. 
I'm gonna follow up with this in beauty bright and tight eye cream I've actually been loving using this oh I can't open it <laughs> my hands are too slippery okay only need a little bit and then just like makes my eye wrinkles a little bit better especially i'm in the sun so much i've just accepted the fact that i'm gonna age so badly and have so many wrinkles and that's okay because i've lived a fun life in the sun and i'm not gonna regret it i'm saying that now but once my wrinkles are really bad i might <laughs> okay eye cream is on i'm trying to think if there's anything else i want to do last thing i'm going to do is put some vaseline on my lips i have this big tub i keep next to my bed Put it on like a lip mask every night. Don't get me wrong, I love the Laneige lip mask, but like you literally do not need that. You could just use this va Vaseline and it's like so much better. Okay, my skincare is done. I'm feeling so refreshed. Now we're gonna go watch White Lotus and hang out. I'm probably gonna make a little treat and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm going to yoga super early with my friends, Lucy, Aloha, Hannah. I think Chris is gonna come with us, so that'll be fun. Okay, good night. Good morning. driving to yoga to go meet our friends doing a yoga sculpt class this morning which is like kind of the only class I've done at Core Power so far. Excited to just like get my workout in by 8 a.m. like we're gonna be done at 8 a.m. and then like I'll have worked out for the day so I'm just kind of excited to have it done. I'm not like a pre-workout person but we're out of my energy drinks and I'm trying to make coffee so I put some of this like strawberry pre-workout in here it's by the brand Naked Harvest it's actually really good pretty tired right now and I'll talk to you guys once we get to yoga Okay, I just got home from yoga and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and I also wanted like a little bit more energy. Like you saw, I had a little bit of pre-workout this morning, but I feel like I'm still just really tired from waking up so early. And I don't necessarily want coffee because I feel like that makes me a little bit too anxious and jittery. So I think I'm gonna go with matcha this morning. The matcha that I've been loving to drink is the Peak Life sun goddess matcha um it is so good like i said i love making it when i don't want to drink coffee because i feel like it doesn't make me anxious or jittery it's just like a really nice natural source of energy so i will show you guys my matcha recipe and then show you guys what else i make for breakfast i'm gonna make like a matcha latte so i'm just gonna put this in a different cup actually i'm just gonna add a little bit of cold water to this and i know a lot of people use like the matcha whisk i don't have one so i'm just gonna use a frother then I'll just froth it up in this little cup. Okay, sorry, my frother died, so I grabbed a new one. And then once all the clumps are gone, I'll just add some ice to my bigger cup. Then I'll pour in some oat milk, and then just the mixed matcha. Then I'll add some natural maple syrup just for a bit of sweetener, and then mix it up. This is so good. It's such a good recipe. Like I said, I use Peak Life. This matcha is delicious. I would recommend it for anyone who's trying to get into matcha and drink less coffee or other energy drinks. You can get 15% off your first month supply and free shipping with my link. So I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. I hope you try it out because it's seriously my favorite matcha and I think you guys will love it. Okay, now I'm gonna make some avocado toast. Okay, here's my cute avocado toast and my matcha. I'm just gonna sit here and eat this and I kind of don't know what I'm gonna do for the day. Honestly, I might be down to surf later, but I do need to make a food video because I have committed to doing seven days of dinner on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, my Instagram is Audrey Lillian, but this week I'm posting like seven days of dinner recipes for like dinner inspiration. And I feel like with the new year, like everybody wants quick and easy dinner recipes. So I'm gonna be posting all this week and I will attach the links for all my recipes in the description if you need any ideas. Okay, it's a couple hours later. I've literally just been working on my laptop on the couch. Nothing interesting. I just changed, but I didn't even really get ready today just cause I can't be bothered to get ready. I think I'm just a little bit bummed because it's like the most beautiful day, but I ended up having to just stay inside and work. Anyways, I got some packages and I thought we could open them together. I don't know what they are. Two of them are PR, I believe. And then this is one I just bought. So I always love watching other people's hauls, but I don't know if people like watching mine if you like watching it let me know if you think it's kind of boring silently let me know 
Oh, sorry, this is from Beast Health, not Amazon. Okay, so they sent me a, another attachment to my blender that they already sent me before. I think it's like a different size than like their bigger one and then their smaller one. This is what it looks like. I don't know if it's the same size as the one I already have, but I'm excited to get another one. They also gave me a spatula for like scooping smoothies, I'm assuming. This will just be really nice for like videos or if I actually need to scoop the stuff out. So thank you, Beast. I seriously love this brand and the most aesthetic blender in the world. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know who this is from. This is from a person. I have no idea what this is gonna be. Oh, yay. From Function of Beauty. If you don't know, I love hair stuff and so I'm really excited to get this package from them. This is so cute. So they sent me like all of their different hair care products that I think are gonna be at Target. So I basically choose the like shampoo I want and then add whatever shots I want to it to like make it customized. So cute, I'm really excited and I can't wait to try this out because I just love hair stuff and like trying new products for it. Okay, last one I'm really excited about. This is from You To The People. This is like one of those times where I'm like, wow, is this really my life? That You To The People is sending me a PR package. I just feel so extremely grateful for every package that I receive, but I can't thank you guys enough. Like if you're watching this, you deserve all of the thank yous from me. I'm so grateful for you and for this job and the fact that I receive things like this. It's just so awesome. Getting all sentimental, but I really do love you guys so much. Now let's open this package. Okay, I think they sent me like all of their best sellers. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to try this stuff, but thank you so much you to the people. So yeah, like I said, I've been doing computer work all day and I think I'm about to shift gears a little bit and make my recipe for the night. I'm gonna remember to film this one this time. I don't know why, like once it's after 6 p.m. I just like forget to vlog or film anything. I'm gonna be making a vegan Alfredo and it is so good, guys. Hopefully I'll be able to get out of the house a little bit tonight because I'm feeling tired of being inside. All right, let's make the Alfredo. Okay, here is my vegan fettuccine Alfredo. It is literally so good. I put like a lot of sauce in here, which I like it really creamy, but that's why the ratio is a little bit off. I already had a bowl of this and this has been sitting here for a while, so it's actually not warm right now, but Chris is gonna come home and eat it. So I'm gonna make him a bowl. But yeah, it turned out so good and I'll definitely add the recipe to this video. Me and Chris just went on a walk because I felt like I didn't really get outside today and I needed a little break from our house, but I'm eating this little dessert I made before. So it's literally just Greek yogurt, blueberries, and then I melted some chocolate chips and coconut oil together and then put it on top to like make a little shell kind of thing. So it's like frozen yogurt with a hard shell and berries. I also use Greek yogurt, so it's like high in protein. So I'm just eating this and then we're gonna watch some White Lotus and probably just go to bed. Good morning, it is now Wednesday and we planned to go to a yoga class this morning, but I canceled it last night. I just felt like I needed a bit more sleep and I'm kind of tired. So we're going this afternoon instead. My chia seed pudding was a little bit too uh, liquidy, I think. It's kind of more like cereal. Still delicious though, I love it. I just added some blueberries and peanut butter to it. And then I'm drinking my Athletic Greens. I've actually had a really productive morning. Like I woke up, did my skincare, went on a walk and all of that. But yeah, plan for today is to just get ready, go to Starbucks, and then I'm gonna work for a while. And I also need to make a recipe today, so I'll show you guys when I make that. So that's kind of what we're doing. Okay, it's a little bit later and I ended up just getting ready. I'm wearing this top from Amazon. I should have it linked on my Amazon storefront, but it is so comfy and cute. My Levi's dad jeans, of course. I did my hair in a slicked bun, did my makeup. Also ran to Starbucks and grabbed a coffee. I got a white chocolate mocha with oat milk, and then I also grabbed some groceries for my recipe I'm making today. So the recipe I'm gonna make is a buffalo cauliflower bowl. I like love buffalo cauliflower, and so it sounded so good in like bowl form with like some rice and greens and really yummy toppings, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down, edit my vlog that I made for TikTok this morning. I'm gonna eat a little bit, and then I'm gonna start on my food video, and then I'll show you guys how that turns out. Okay, before I eat this, I just need to show you guys. It looks so freaking good. I made a buffalo cauliflower bowl, so I made buffalo cauliflower, and then at the bottom I have some romaine lettuce, quinoa, topped it with shredded carrots, shredded cabbage, roasted chickpeas, 
some cucumber, some pickled red onions, some avocado, and then some vegan ranch. I'm so excited to eat this right now. I'm starving and I just feel like it turned out so well. If you end up trying this recipe, you could also add more buffalo sauce on top, but I'm just leaving the ranch for now for the aesthetic, but I'll probably add some more buffalo sauce on top because I love that flavor. I just got ready for bed. I did like an everything shower and I feel so clean and refreshed. I always tell my husband, Chris, like there really is just nothing better in the world than like getting clean and like putting on your skincare, washing your hair, shaving your legs. I don't know why, it's just so satisfying to me. But yeah, sorry I didn't vlog much today. I feel like I just did everything on my TikTok. So I did like my whole morning routine on my TikTok and then I actually filmed my everything shower on my TikTok as well. So I'll leave the links for both of those in the description. These pajamas are also from Lunia if you're wondering. They are a little bit pricier, but they are amazing. Like if you're looking for quality silk pajamas that don't wrinkle too much, these are the best pajamas in the world. So we're just gonna relax, watch some White Lotus, and then probably head to bed. But good night, I will see you guys tomorrow. ready for the day it's kind of cold this morning like we woke up and we were both like it's kind of cold in our house and it's probably only like 65 degrees or something in our house but we are gonna go on a walk other than that today is pretty much just a work day again i might even jump in the water before i start stuff so that i can just like get out a little bit but yeah not much going on today i'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens <laughs> Starbucks and grabbed this white chocolate mocha with oat milk. It's my favorite and I feel like I could have it a little bit less sweet but sometimes when I ask for it less sweet they don't do enough sweetness so I don't know. I need to do my hair so I'm going to put in my like gel curler for the next hour or two and then I'm gonna do my makeup. Okay here's the result. Super cute but I'm gonna let this sit for an hour or two do my makeup. Just showing you this really quick because Chris made me avocado toast because if he doesn't make me breakfast sometimes I will just forget to eat because I'll be working. Thanks kitty. Okay, I'm done with my recipe for the day. So I made a vegan potato broccoli soup and it's really good. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Just know that it tastes way better than it looks. Here it is. I just made like a big batch of it and sadly we're out of bread, but I think like croutons or eating bread with this would be so good. Like I said, it tastes so much better than it looks. Um, I'm really happy with it. And now I just need to clean up my kitchen. And tonight I think we're kind of just gonna hang out here or hang out with friends, I'm not sure. Good morning, it is now Saturday and last night we just had a really chill night. We ended up like setting up a mattress in the front room. We watched a movie, ate some food. I didn't end up vlogging anything else last night, but today we're gonna go to the beach it's been a really slow morning it's already like one i think yeah it's pretty much just like a beach day hang out with our friends and then i'll come home make my recipe i'll let you guys know whatever happens okay i just ordered lunch at this place we love called kahuku farm so i got a farm pizza it's so good if you ever come to north shore you should go to Kuku Farms because it's very good, it's locally owned, and everything they put on here is like made at their farm. So I got a farm pizza, it's basically like some bread with eggplant, tomato, topped with like mozzarella and pesto. It doesn't sound that good, but it's really, really good. And like a side salad with a balsamic dressing. I got a green smoothie, it's like kale, Swiss chard. I can't really remember what's in here, but it's called the Coach's Special, it's really good. Then I got a Lily Koi cooler, and then, Lily Koi Butter Mochi, they're insane. They're like these little mochi muffins and they taste so good. Sorry, my camera was probably really shaky, but should be a really pretty day at the beach, so I'm excited to vlog that a little bit. It's 
now Sunday and we ended up just hanging out last night here. You saw me cleaning up the house, but we like set up a mattress in the front room and watched movies and it was really fun. Now I'm just ice rolling my face because I feel puffy. I ran out of eye patches sadly, but I'm actually gonna order some today. I think I'm gonna get like the Peter Thomas Roth eye patches and they come in a big case so I don't have to use like individual packets anymore. But yeah, I'm actually gonna start editing this video right now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a pretty typical week in my life. I had a lot of work this week so I didn't really get to do as much but it's good because this vlog is like very realistic of some of the weeks in my life, especially when I'm working a lot or making recipes a lot. I'm just in the house and I don't really do much honestly but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this inspired you in any way to start some of your own healthy habits or to create your own morning routine or healthy routine. I'll definitely leave the links to all the recipes I made this week and I hope you guys have the best week. I'll be posting a vlog every Sunday so if you're not subscribed feel free to subscribe. Comment on what you liked about this video and don't forget to like it as well. But I love you guys and I'll see you next video. Bye!